Hey guys, um, I just thought I would show my new uh, acquisition. Um, I've been wanting to get Ellen and Wild uh, Lizette for quite a while, and um, I managed to uh, have uh, through the Pact Gym Pact uh, program thing where you're you know, photographing your veggies and stuff and, and uh, submitting everything, I actually got enough money off of that that uh, they sent it to PayPal and I went on eBay and I found Lizette for 69. Um, she was uh, nude, so none of her original costume was with. So um, I turned around and uh, Got her dressed in jeans by Bella DuJour. The white boots are from Elowen Wild. The shirt was from another eBay seller a while back that I really enjoyed. Um, and the wig came from, I think, Junkie Spot. It was one that was on sale. So not the greatest wig and it's not the best fit. It's actually for, even though they had it listed as a uh, one for a larger doll, or it wasn't, but it looks really spectacular on her. So I was thinking when I saw the photos that I was going to try to do inset eyes on her, but I really like her eyes. And I'm contemplating maybe later making her into Storm, in which case I will repaint her face, because that wig just reminds me of that a lot. But, um, yeah, her joints are nice, um, a little tight because she was sitting out in the cold until I woke up. But, yeah, I'm really super happy. She's 16 inches tall, um, not a resin. She is a plastic. Um, hands, wrists are jointed, elbows are jointed, shoulder, knees, hip. She's got some torso movement, neck is jointed and the feet are not but just a really super cute doll i really like how this turned out so yeah i just thought i would show that and tinkerbell back there um was a thrift store find um and she's gonna get some tlc she's almost the right size she's a ceramic her wings are extremely beat up um, I don't know if I'll remake her a Tinkerbell costume or if I'm just going to completely rehair her and do her something else. But her face fit in the same size as Elowen Wild and as uh, Lizette here. So I thought for a smaller, you know, kind of kid type doll that that would work out well. And she must have been a Disney collectible. She was not... Uh, um, didn't have any uh, jointing in her um, so yeah she's she's actually really cute though and uh, then this uh, monster high is going to get uh, her hair redone here because I want to photograph the hat the rainbow frog hat that I did out of hemp and the outfit that Dracula is wearing is actually a brat's outfit. Goes on nice and easy, but I need to do her hair again and then do some nice photos so that I can list this hat on Etsy. So yeah, there we sit with my newest ones here. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the lighting. The daylight is only coming through one window and I wasn't thinking. <laughs> so there you go and there's the old lady from the 1800s my boudoir doll so I'm pretty happy with her she's got a place of honor what I thought I was going to do as vignettes I don't think I'm going to I'm just going to do as regular displays you know in my altar room and eventually I'm going to try and redo some of this so I have some, you know, some actual nice shelving in here and stuff. I may continue this garden theme, actually, and just make a nice little peaceful place for myself. So anyway, that's it. Blessed be, everybody. Have a fantastic day.